Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Libra for the month of September. It is a general reading, so it will not resonate with each and every one of you who are watching. If um, this does not sound like your story, check your moon sign or your rising sign. Your messages could be there. If not, check back in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. So let's begin. At the bottom of the deck, we have a card of perspective and one of identity. I also see that we have the glove. So, oh yes, and we also, <laughs> keep going, we also have the card of love here. So, um, let us see what all of this means. I feel that more than likely there was some type of ultimatum, perhaps, uh, an ultimatum type of situation where someone threw down that glove. Um, some type of standoff, perhaps. This would have to do with uh, someone's identity. Um, it would have to do with um, the role that you thought they were playing or the role you're trying to figure out that, that they're playing, you know, looking at the details, taking that closer look, you're questioning their identity um, because perhaps what they're showing you may not match up with what they're saying or what they've said. Um, yeah. Um, and it's like, um, I feel like you're trying to get to the truth of something. Uh, or that they were, these roles can be vice versa here, um, trying to fit the pieces together, trying to get uh, a perspective on something, wrap your head around something, trying to make sense out of it. Trying to understand. I feel... Um, yeah, you see, there was a, some type of standoff that uh, took place, uh, conflict uh, here. Um, somebody got upset. Um, uh, they may have thought it was uh, an illusion that, again, that you were playing a role, that you weren't being honest or sincere, or you were thinking this of them. that what was being offered uh, wasn't, uh, it wasn't real, you know, in this connection. And so this person here got upset and brought in the tower is what happened. Possibly for some, it could be uh, that this tower fell on a new beginning if you were trying to reconcile with someone or it just fell and stopped the growth completely of something that you were trying to make grow. So what we have is the spider sitting in the, um, in the center of this reading. So this can be being very focused on something, trying to digest something, waiting, watching, observing. You could be watching them. They could be watching you. Um, this is a very intensely focused uh, energy. And this is an assessment as to whether uh, you're willing to put more energy into something or uh, into the, not just to something, into that person who's outside the window actually, or this is vice versa, you know, or do I let them back into my life or not? You're very focused on that. See, with the Grail Knight, you're going within, trying to figure things out, fit the pieces of the puzzle together. Now, mm, at the root is the subconscious. Lady of Wisdom, Two of Swords. You're very focused on 
um, what you've lost, looking back at what you've lost, okay, or they are. And, and you know, if this is you, you're wondering whether you want to put more effort here because you've already feel like you've lost a lot. And the same if this is them, you know. So then we have the subconscious, um, you know, um, things in that are deep within the subconscious that like you know you don't know these are the, in the subconscious it's it's things that you absorb throughout your lifetime and uh, that you know um you're not even trying to absorb but it's there and you're absorbing it it's going in there and it comes out it, it's like it shapes you and because Everything you see, experience, uh, were told, heard from the time you're born, get, it, it's in there. And it, it kind of um, uh, determines how you react to certain things uh, as, you, uh, as you move forward. And so maybe she's looking back at what she's lost and wondering uh, um, why... Uh, things are happening the way they're happening or uh, at, at uh, what would need to go even or maybe needs to recognize where uh, things are, are, are coming from you know um, if, if it's like a repeating pattern for her then definitely this person has to go back farther than that relationship. It has to go back farther than that because there's a reason for it. The eel, what lurks in the shadows. Now again, you know, that could be the subconscious uh, things that lurk in the shadows that, you know, you can't see, you don't know they're there, but yet they, uh, they shape you, cause you to react certain ways or cause them to, you know, feeling out of balanced, uh, out of balance, um, having a lot of doubts and uncertainties about the cup. Okay. The five of swords is very negative energy. It's uh, a five of shields, excuse me. Um, it's being really conflicted but in this deck really it's a lot um well it's um it's like fighting or a lot of fighting uh in it's it's heartache uh, it can be third party energies Hmm. I think I'll go to the peacock and uh, then we'll see where this is going. The peacock is being watchful. Um, it's okay. It's an invitation uh, to shed things, emotions, identities. And we have the identity card here that no longer serve you. And uh, to step into a more confident version of yourself. So, it could be that there's difficulty um, in uh, changing these belief systems that one has carried because we have the doll here and the doll um the doll speaks to wounds of the past uh somebody who did not have an easy childhood and they carry the wounds and uh, it's like the wounds still bleed and shape the path that they're on currently, affecting it. So 
it's recognizing this and then determining what needs to be let go, deleted, changed. To move forward com uh, confidently with something. Somebody here, whether it's you or them, have experienced a lot of loss and grief in your life because the next card is a card of loss. Yeah, somebody, um, it's like they don't hold a lot of faith, uh, lacking belief in something here with the magician and this card you see somebody feels their hands are tied and the priest is 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 here to uh, remind them uh, to have to have faith to believe but um, they 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 don't they don't believe um, could be uh, that they have a lot of uh, negative thoughts based upon um, wounds that still bleed. The lovers, the fool, the magician. So this could be about a connection. Um, taking that leap of faith on someone, okay? Um, and the magician is about um, knowing uh, the potential and the possibilities of the materials at hand to make this happen. But this person is lacking faith in in, 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 in the tools that they have, you see. And that is because of past wounds that, you know, that there's, they still carry and uh, have not yet been healed, you see. And this could be, yeah, you see. The Five of Pentacles. In this deck, you see, this person has been pushed out, forced to go. They don't want to go. This could be um, something that has happened that this person has not healed from because they've been pushed out, forced out, but it also speaks to the attachment they still have to what's on the other side of that door. So they were forced out and didn't want to go. Somebody blew out that uh, flame there and so created the ending. Here we have it. This is death in this deck. The flame no longer burns. It's been extinguished. Somebody got forced out. And so, maybe they are on, um, on the other side of this window watching, or you are, but lacking the faith because of past hurt or pain. So this is somebody who's sitting on something. They're not budging, not moving, but they are watching. You see that teapot is meant to pour stuff, but it's somebody's sitting in it. And although they give the impression that they could be sleeping, they're actually watching but nothing is being poured. No action is being taken. Sitting, waiting, 
just like the spider, sitting, waiting. Now, we have the emperor, who's all about creating order. Creating order to put an end to a cycle and begin anew. With the emperor paying, paying special attention to the plans for the future, um, knowing that his actions um, affect others as well as the world around him. He's using logic and reason. Um, hmm. I do not have any cards of emotion here. I have justice again, logic and reason, wanting to do the right thing. One is looking towards the belief system because he's looking towards um, Lucifer. This reading is about what needs to change within somebody's belief system in order to reestablish the order. So, you know, um, what needs to go. So maybe someone is even questioning their own identity, the, the role perhaps that they played in this, um, in this situation. And um, with that, maybe comes an understanding about what needs to be changed in order to re-establish order. It's about gaining a new perspective, fitting the pieces of the puzzle together to create order. So either you or the other person involved will be looking at that at this time. So whatever this is, it's not over yet. You get the sense that somebody is doing, um, uh, it's like a thorough examination or even self-examination. And if somebody threw down the glove in this uh, love connection, maybe that action is what caused uh, this to happen. Maybe that's what it took to make it happen. Possibly also someone would have thought that they were uh, being treated cruelly or that uh, even with the eel that maybe somebody had bad intentions possibly, hiding things. So that is what I have for you. Um, I thank you for watching, for liking, and for subscribing. And um, also thank you to those who have sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to you.